Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Jared Gooden versus Kevin Josset. Jared Gooden, 23 wins, 9 losses to 10 and 2 for Kevin Josset. 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, 3 and 1 in his last 4, plus 185 underdog, 30 years old, 6 foot tall with a 77 inch reach. Kevin Josset's 10 and 2, 31 years old, minus 225 favorite, 6 2 with a 75 inch reach, 2 inches taller for Josset, 2 inches in reach for uh, Gooden. This is an interesting one. Before the Ke the uh, Kevin Jossett Kenan Song fight, I'd say Kevin Jossett might be able to out move him, out uh, movement him, move his feet, a lot of uh, angles, you know, uh, good output for Jossett. Something I'd seen, I I said on stream. I stream every Saturday when the fights are here. Um, so thing I said with Jossett was when he fought Kenan Song, he was winning the fight, but there was moments where I didn't like he wasn't moving his head. He was not moving his head. Um, and it kind of kept Kanan Song in the fight, even though he had no p business being in that fight. My nose is fucking itches, man. Jesus. And uh, it, again, it's something I talked about that I, I didn't like. I didn't like that he was not moving his head off the center line, nor would he move his head at all. He would just kind of trade. And there's certain fighters like Gooden who does have some big power. You can't do that. You know, in, in in Kevin Jossett has looked good. Five finishes out of his uh, ten wins. Um, he has three in the first round. He has four first round finishes total. Has one loss by TKO, which was a doctor stoppage by Jack Della Mandalena, which I think says quite a bit. Um, again, beat Ken Song Kanong, but he his his ground game is pretty underrated. I think pretty good. Now. Is on a bit of a win streak at five wins in a row. Um, now, Jared Gooden's the interesting one because Jared Gooden is on, a, yeah, he just won his last one. He has 19 finishes, only been a decision five times. Um, he has been finished twice on the feet, which was lost to Bruno Oliveira and then lost to Impa by finish, which the Bruno Oliveira sounds familiar. Nine and three. Where did we see him? Oh, on the contender series. Lost to Josh Friend. Gabriel Moda. He beat. Who was it that? I remember seeing him. Why do I remember this guy? I don't know. Oh, Coles Olberg. That's why I remember him. Okay. But yeah, you know, rocky UFC career with only two wins, four losses. But he has two finishes. Now, the Terman fight, I think he took the uh, Carlson note, uh, Harris on short notice, if I'm correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Fought Wellington Terman. So, Terman, I, it looked pretty good against Randy Brown. Argument, he won that fight. Jared Gooden, even though he was getting caught, which I didn't like, because he's getting older with that weird style that he does have. But with Terman, he was able to draw Terman into a fight that Terman's not good at, and was able to hurt Terman so bad, and then get a rear naked choke it was pretty nasty pretty cool to see uh gooden get that win because he's had a rocky uh ufc career you know and again gooden hits like a mac truck does have some weird um uh, uh has a weird stance doesn't hold his hands super high or really high at all but it cre it gives him uh, chances to create angles with his big powerful strikes but it does keep him open for counters and all these things again we're going to look at some stats here to where let's see da -da. kevin Jossett, jared gooden so strikes landed per minute 5.08 for gooden 8.23 for Jossett. accuracy is 49 to 55 absorbed 6.68 to 5.10 defense is 48 to 53 takedowns average up 15 minutes uh, 0. 0.67 for Gooden, 1.51 for Jossett. Accuracy is 100% to 66. Take down defense is 65 to 100%. It's going to be pretty hard or later in the fight for Jossett if he gets takedowns. I don't think it'll be early. The name of the game on this one is Can Jossett Survive the Big Power from Gooden? I like to think so because it is is just his overwhel his uh, overall game is pretty good. He's pretty well rounded. I just don't think uh, Gordon Gooden is 
as well-rounded. I think he's strong. He's powerful. He's pretty fast. Good chin, even though it has been a little bit tested as of late. I don't know necessarily if this fight goes the distance because if Gooden's able to land cleanly, he finishes him. But I don't think Jossett would be able to do the same. Maybe with a submission, he could finish him. But Gooden's uh, submission defense is pretty good as well. So I like Jossett in this one. I'm a little skeptical because I think the power could also pick a uh, good could uh, help Gooden. Obviously, if he catches him, he can finish him. But I, I can't pick him simply on the fact of, oh, he may he might uh, he might catch him, but he definitely could. I like Jossett. I think the uh, overall ability to overwhelm his opponents could really get him this matchup, win him this fight. So as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you guys so much. Peace.